building a, a diverse workforce and ensuring we have an inclusive workplace is really key to making us all successful. At the end of the day, you know, companies are there to make profit. Maybe they're making money for shareholders and things like that. But the best way to get to those objectives, I suppose, is to create a good environment where everybody feels happy to do the jobs that they're doing so that they can reach their potential. And this maybe comes me back to my original days in my Microsoft, because when I was in Microsoft, we used to have a kind of tagline that was helping people to reach their potential via, through software. And I remember that and that and we were always talking about how can we grow people's potential and Microsoft is probably the place where I first came across the ideas of uh, diversity and inclusion and that's something that stuck with me through every company I've worked in since. For me, uh, I've, I've taken that being also a minority in Japan as well, similar to Utah Fields in, in London. It makes it really important for me to think not just about LGBTQ issues, but there's a whole wide range of diversity issues that we need to face in Japan and, and really plant seeds of change to make this society reach its full potential. Because Japanese people have so many great traits, but I feel like the workplaces environment really restricts some of that potential. Thank you, James. Yeah, that uh, the psychological safety is just so important for the workplace. So I think that you've mentioned that it's 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 important.